This is the Woody Museum in San Antonio, Texas. The Woody Museum is a great place to explore dinosaurs and Texas wildlife, as well as learn about Texas history through their artifacts and art. This modern and techie museum located in San Antonio, Texas, is dedicated to telling the stories of Texas from prehistory to the present. In this video, we'll provide essential information like location and what to do at the Witty Museum. Like this video and write a comment. We really want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HitFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the San Antonio, Texas series. This episode is the Witty Museum, San Antonio, Texas travel guide. The Witty Museum is located in Brackenridge Park at 3801 Broadway in San Antonio, Texas. Parking is free at the Witty Museum. You can park in the Brackenridge Park uh, parking garage on Avenue B, just south of Witty Museum, or on Gun Drive North lot, located in the north of the Witty Museum. You can also take public transportation to the Witty Museum. It's uh, uh, via Metropolitan Transit bus routes number 9 and 14. The Witty Museum is open year-round except for Easter, April 24th to 25th, May 21st, and the third Monday in October, as well as Thanksgiving and Christmas. The museum is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Mondays, and Tuesday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They also offer free Tuesdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. On Wednesdays through Saturdays they're open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sunday noon to 5 p.m. After we found a spot to park our car we walked into the museum to buy our tickets. We entered through the front doors into the Susan Naylor Center on the first ground floor and then through the Great Hall of the Naylor Family Dinosaur Gallery. We continued to walk down the Great Hall until we found the ticket counter. Uh, tickets are $15 for adults. You can either buy them online or when uh, you arrive like we did. There are discounted tickets for children, teens, military, and seniors. Now we've gone to a lot of museums so it's our habit now that we always like to go to the top floor and then with an elevator and then walk down and so we took the elevator to the second floor. The second floor is the Kitty West Nelson Ferguson People of the Pecos Gallery. On this floor of the Witty Museum we found uh, lots of displays just, uh, of the lower Pecos Canyon lands and the daily life of the people of the Pecos who lived in Texas for almost 9,000 years here. They also had a special display of paintings of the life in Texas. My favorite section of the Pecos Gallery was the theater where um, you could learn about hunter-gatherers how they moved and the seasons transformed and the natural materials and the tools they used. And they have this awesome um, view of the, uh, the evening sky, which is just beautiful. From the second floor, you can actually get a great view of the Naylor Family Dinosaur Gallery. And so you can see all the skeletons of the gigantic dinosaurs that have uh, they have displayed there. We made our way to the McLean Family Texas Wild Gallery and there you can see the Rio Grande Valley to the Panhandle Plains, uh, also the East Texas Piney Woods and the West Texas deserts and mountains and of course all the wildlife um, or at least some of the wildlife that live in those territories. This section was particularly um, busy because of all the school groups that were here that day. From this area, we walked through a passageway to another building 
that takes a look at the rich history of Texas. This next section is probably um, my favorite in the whole museum, just because I'm a history enthusiast. So if you're a history enthusiast, you definitely will enjoy this um, part of the museum. It's got so many displays and animation, as well as uh, little videos and vignettes um, that describe San Antonio's uh, main plaza um, as it was from its inception to, uh, you know, to its bustling frontier days. They've recreated San Antonio's main plaza from uh, 1849, and you can explore the thousands of uh, artifacts that illustrate the life of uh, this particular region for more than a, a hundred years. This museum really does a good job of uh, sharing what, what really was like at that time. They talk about the immigrant population that they had here as well as, you know, ranching life and uh, Native American life. Uh, so it, it just is pretty interesting. It's definitely worth your visit. It'll take you uh, two or more hours really depending on your interest. Happy travels! Go to hitfig.com for more information or watch our other videos on the HitFig Travel Channel on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe!